y'all and welcome to today's video. We are just going to be doing a get ready with me today. I have some new makeup products. I have some old favorites. I need to get ready. I have a lot of stuff to do today. It's 7.30 in the morning and I need to get ready for the day. So that's what we're gonna do. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup whatever that means, shimmer, glitter, just chill, get ready with me. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today. But like I said, I have some old favorite products here. I have some things I wanna test out like this Thorn Oil from Ritual Defee. I have this CoverGirl Concealer Outlast Extreme Wear. I have some new lip products from Urban Decay. We're gonna play with some new stuff. We're going to play with some old favorites. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I watch Teresa is Dead. She has such a great YouTube channel. I love her videos and she loves this thorn oil. I hear her talk about it all the time. So we're going to play with it today. I have always shied away from priming oils because I have oily skin. And for me, it seems like oil is what breaks my makeup apart and makes it not last. So I've always been kind of hesitant, but I want to try it. I want to try it. I want to see how it is because I heard that it was really good as like a makeup primer. So I just put a couple of drops onto my skin. I will say it definitely, definitely, definitely smells like roses, which makes sense, you know, but I'm gonna press it into my skin and I'm going to let it set for just, I don't know, a minute or so. I'm excited to try it. Like I said, I've heard nothing but great things. So we'll see how this goes. Some of these things are gonna be a first impression, but since I'm try trying a new primer today and I'm gonna be trying a new concealer, I'm just gonna use like Old Faithful. <laughs> this is the uh, NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I really love this foundation. I have some breakouts, you can see my skin it's not been happy with me. I don't know if it was the like full face of Inglot that I tried that my skin did not like. I posted that video last week and then I've had these breakouts since. I don't know if there was something in those products my skin didn't like, but I figure with a priming oil, since we're priming with an oil and I do have oily skin, maybe it would be better for me to use a matte foundation. I don't know. I'm just thinking maybe they'll kind of balance each other out. <laughs> ah, I'm almost out of my foundation. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Y'all see, I keep having to shake it. Okay, I am going to quickly blend this in with my beauty blender because again, this is nothing new. This is a foundation I've loved for a long time, but I'm super excited about this concealer. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer. 24 hours, full coverage. And I actually saw this on TikTok. One of my friends that I met here, I'll pop up her TikTok at the Michaela Glamlight party, showed this on her TikTok account. And I was like, hey, I need to buy that because it looks so pretty on her. So we're going to test it, but I'm going to quickly blend in this foundation. Okay. My foundation is on and I do think the primer oil is having a little bit of glow come through. I mean, maybe not. My primers that I use like regularly are the Tatcha Silk Canvas, the Milk Hydro Grip, the Hourglass Van Veil, I think it's called the Veil. And I definitely feel like I have a more glow with this primer than I do with kind of like my staple core primers. So that's exciting to see. Maybe I'll have some really pretty glowy skin today. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. Everything's nice and blended. I'm ready to try this concealer. I hope it's good. I hope I got a good shade. I bought the shade 855 Soft Honey. 
oh, it's gonna it's gonna be light. It's gonna be light. So we're gonna have a bright under eye today, okay? I just bought this. I was like, let's try it out. <laughs> I guesstimated the shade and it'll be fine. We'll just kind of go with a highlighted under eye today. Okay, I don't know. I do prefer concealers that have like a doe foot applicator just because, I don't know, you almost like put it on and kind of blend it a little bit. Like you spread it where you want it. But let, let me grab a brush and we'll kind of pat this in or maybe I could go with the sponge. Let's try both. Okay, this is a BK Beauty brush. And maybe if I just tap it in with the brush, maybe that will be better. We'll do one side brush, one side sponge. This is such a good concealer brush. I use it a lot for eye primer too. Okay, so definitely a bit bright. Now let me try my sponge. All right, I think it looks great either way. So I'm just gonna finish blending this in. And then I do have a new powder actually. This is the RCMA Makeup Premier Pressed Powder in the shade Amethyst. It says that this is an innovative formula that has a touch of brightening pigment to accentuate the skin for a hint of luminosity. Soft focus appearance. <laughs> blurs lines and mirrors imperfections it says you can use a puff or a brush now I have tried this out a couple of times it looks white but it does have kind of a soft pinkness to it I've tried this a few times just setting the under eye and it's really really nice for like really light makeup if you want that really glowy skin i've been taking this sigma brush and setting the under eye but i like how a loose powder with a sponge really kind of presses everything in and how it like kind of blurs the pores more so what i want to try today is setting my under eye with my loose powder and then going back in with this and just lightly brushing it over to add some brightness. So that's what I'm gonna try today. I've got my concealer on. I'm just gonna quickly set my under eye and my T-zone with my Huda Beauty Blondie Powder. I'm gonna like kind of buff in and finish off the rest of the face with my Dior Powder. I will say I have oily skin, so I do set my entire face with powder. If not, the makeup's gonna be gone the minute I step outside. And I have a lot to do today, so I really need my makeup to last. Okay, so here's the face set with powder, kind of my normal powders. I love <laughs> my Huda Beauty for keeping my makeup on in the summer heat and humidity. Like, it's gonna help kind of lock everything in. Whereas I felt like this was very beautiful, but it didn't lock anything in for long wear. So. What I wanna see, I'm, I'm looking really nice under here, but I just wanna say like if this will give a little touch of like brightness and luminosity. So I'm just gonna pick this up and put it here. And it does a bit, doesn't it? I think that kind of brightened everything up. Just a subtle little pinky tone right in here. Okay, that's cute. Okay. I think on days where I don't need my makeup to last like 16 hours, I will probably still reach for this because I did notice the few times I used it, my oils would definitely come through after like six hours. So we'll see. Today, I just need my makeup to last, you know, all day. But I'm gonna fill in my brows and then I'll come back and we'll do eyes together. I really wanna mix my palette with this palette from Nomad. I wanna kinda of mix these bright, fun mattes with some of my shades. So I'm gonna fill in my brows, I'm gonna zoom y'all in, and we'll do eyes together. All right, I kinda of wiped my concealer brush off, and now I'm putting on my MAC Paint Pot. I'm in the shade Layin' Low. So we're gonna play with mixing my collab palette with Adept. Yes, this is my <laughs> mac 
very, very used and loved version. And I really want to mix it with the mattes from the Nomad Paradise Islands palette. I thought that would be fun. And then I bought this base. This is the Carla Cosmetics... Uh, what is the name of it? Fix Potion. So I think this is supposed to be like, I don't know. I don't want to misspeak. I don't want to call it the wrong thing. But my interpretation of it was kind of like a glitter glue. And so I want to try it. I want to try it. So we're going to be using that. But right now I just have my uh, primer on. Uh, primer on. Let's go in. I want to do something kind of blue. So, I want to mix, yeah, I want to do the blues. So, what I'm going to do first is go in with, ooh, do I want to go in with Dolphin or do I want to go in with Stingray? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's go in with, <sighs> let's go in with the Dolphin. I'm like taking way too long to decide what shade to use. So here, I'm going to grab this brush. This is a brush that came in the Sigma Enchanted collection. Really pretty with the purple handles, but this is an E25. So I'm going to go right into Dolphin. Oh, let me make sure there's no creases to my eye primer. And then I think we're just going to pack this. Pack this all right here. I will link everything that I'm using today down in the description box. Just in case you're curious, I will put everything down there and I will put, um, like if I have any affiliate codes, discount codes, anything like that, I'll put in the description box as well. For everybody who uses my codes and my links, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much it helps my channel, but I'm just popping this right here. I love this vibrant blue mat. This is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this Sigma brush. I think this came in the Enchanted palette, but I'm gonna use both sides. One side is an E54, one size is an E38, but I'm gonna jump over to my palette with Adept, and I wanna go into PAO2 right here, this really deep color and that's what I want whoops <laughs> that's what I want on my lower lash line so I'm just going to buff that on like so back and forth back and forth wow my face is looking so pale compared to my arms that's okay we're gonna go in and bronze that will take care of that in a minute <laughs> I'm just like looking at my hand compared to my face that's all right. That's all right. All right. I'm buffing that shade in like this. With the lower lash line, I like to just kind of spend my time back and forth, back and forth, making sure that it's really, really diffused and blended. So just spending extra time. Okay. Now that we have those shades like that, I'm going to go back to the Paradise <laughs> Islands palette and I want to use this shade right here called Well. This one is so pretty. I'm picking it up on the fluffy end of the brush because I want this to be my inner corner shade, but I really want it to kind of wrap. So I want it to wrap just a little bit under the lower lash line, and I want it to come up here some as well. So that's why I have this more fluffy side of the brush rather than a more precise or like pencil brush or something like that because I don't want this to just be right here. I want it to kind of be blended up and around. Okay, that's looking exactly how I want it. Now we're gonna jump over here. <laughs> My palette is so well loved, so messy, but what I wanna do is I wanna try out this fixing potion base, whatever. Um, and I want to do a couple of different shades on the lid. I'm thinking I wanna go in with scrubs right here this shade and then well I don't know do I want to put scrubs here or do I want to put scrubs out here I think I'm going to do scrubs out here and then Austin here so <laughs> this shade and then this shade see I have no look planned I'm just like let's just go with the flow we'll try it out <laughs> we'll see as inspiration hits Okay, so I'm going to pick up the fixing potion on a brush. I'm just using kind of what's left in the cap. 
And I think I'll just kind of put this all over the lid, maybe. Like this. I mean, I don't know. This is my first time using this product. May have put a bit too much on. But I've got my Sigma brushes here. These are the E55. Yeah, I have two E55. One from the Cinderella and one from the Enchanted Collection. Okay, so I'm picking up scrubs first. And I'm going to press it on top of that fixing potion and see how that works. All right, I'm just kind of like packing it on first and then I'll kind of go back and blend, but right now I just want to get it on top of the fixing potion. All right, so now I have the shade Austin and I'm just tapping that right here, packing it on top and then I will kind of feather them together like this. All right, I'm just going to blend a little bit, but I really like the way these three shades from my Adept palette are pairing with the two shades from the Nomad palette. I'm just gonna blend. I'm gonna throw on some eyeliner and lashes and I'll be back and we'll finish up the rest of our makeup together. All right, I love my eye look. I love, love, love my eye look. I put on some Kiss Ruffle lashes. I put on LA Girl Shockwave Liner in the shade Ocean in my lower waterline. And then for the upper lash line, I used my Hindash Liner because that is my favorite liquid liner ever. Now we need to bronze. We need to bronze. I need to bring some color back to my face. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma Single Bronzer. Love this bronzer. I'm going to use my F40 Sigma brush. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin. Bring a little life back to it. I mean, look at that. What a difference. <laughs> Whenever I go in and I start like finishing up my makeup and I'm doing like the finishing touches, you know, the eye look is done, I'm putting on like highlight or whatever, it always just, it's so satisfying. I'm like, oh yes, it's been a journey, but here we are. <laughs> oh, this bronzer is so pretty on the skin. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go with something light. So I'm grabbing my MAC Stranger Things Hawkins blush. This is Friends Don't Lie. Y'all know I really, really liked the Stranger Things collection that MAC did. I think they did such a good job with it. I'm not sure if this is still available, but I'll see if I can find a link down below. I know it was on sale for a little bit, but look how pretty that color is. Like it's just, light and fresh and I really like MAC powder complexion products. I think they're so beautiful. Like, oh, it's just so pretty. It's seamless. It's easy to blend. You get a nice color, but I want to do a fun highlight. I want to do Skywalker from Kaleidos. This is a blue highlight. It looks white, but it's very sparkly. I love Kaleidos highlighters, so I'm just going to pick up look, ah, blue sparkles on my cheeks. That's exactly what I wanted with some blue sparkle. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Listen, have some fun with your makeup. We don't have to take it too seriously. And colorful highlighters to me are just so fun. And I love a good sparkle. And with these Kaleidos highlighters, they don't have like a harsh base color to them. So they really, I think, look flattering on all different skin tones. I've seen this highlighter used on the Kaleidos TikTok on so many different skin tones. And it seriously looks beautiful on everybody. This would be a pretty like inner corner shade too. But I really like the... The vibe we have going on the eyes so I'm gonna leave the eyes alone but I'm just just giving myself a little bit of sparkle now I'm going to spray my face I'm gonna mist my face with my Urban Decay all-nighter cactus flower vitamin C spray 
and then we'll do lips together. Okay, so Urban Decay launched these new, uh, what, are, what is the official name of them? The Vice like lip bolds or something like that. I'll link them down below. But Urban Decay sent me three. I did lip swatch all three of these over on my TikTok. That will be down below in case you're curious. But this formula is so nice. It's a liquid lipstick with a shine and it kind of leaves a stain behind. I really, really, really like it. I think my favorite shade is this one right here, Textum. First of all, I love the packaging. I really enjoy these. I'm gonna use the shade Textum, but first I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip liner. This is the Pat McGrath Lip Pencil in Cosmic Vibes. Okay, so this lip color, it's like a pinky color. It's got a really nice doe foot applicator. Mm. Did I say this is the shade Textum? I think I did. But this has a really pretty shine to it. Really pretty sheen, very opaque. You can see like this is just a great formula. I think the next time I place a Sephora order, I'm going to add another shade because I would love to have this maybe in like a brown nude because I really like the formula. I mean, look, look how pretty it looks on the lips. <laughs> so pretty, but I want to add some extra sparkle. I want to use this Nomad gloss. This is Fitz de Providence. <laughs> Sure, somebody's gonna roast me. That's okay. This gloss though is pretty. I've been enjoying these Nomad glosses. And even though those Urban Decay have some shine to them, which I really enjoy, I just want a little bit of sparkle, you know? All right, y'all. I really hope that you enjoyed this get ready with me style video where I was testing out some new things, using some old favorites. I have to say, this eye base so far, pretty cool. I feel like it made my shadows a bit more intense. They went well on top of it. Whenever I try new eye products, I'm always curious to know if they're gonna crease, like when I use new bases. And so far, no creasing, no creasing so far. The Thorn Oil, I think so far is working great as a primer. The RCMA powder I'm liking. The concealer I think looks great. I think I need a darker shade. But so far, like, it looks great. It was full coverage, no creasing, not settling weird, nothing like that. I think it was like $8. I'll link it down below. The lipsticks, I know I like. I'm trying to think, what else new did we try? That's about it. The rest were kind of products I already knew I loved. But I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I'll definitely keep you up. All the new stuff. If you're new here, I do a video about once a month where I review things that I've been testing lots. So definitely subscribe so you stay up to date on those videos when I do follow-up reviews. But I feel ready to start my day. I actually have a doctor's appointment in about an hour. So it's time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye. Thank you.